Welcome back again guys and let's talk about Ravencoin. So if you didn't hear about Ravencoin, you can find it on whattomine.com as the most profitable coin for NVIDIA and for AMD cards. For example, if you have 180Ti with Ravencoin mining, you would make $3.99 per day. But if you would just be using something like NiceHash and you would be mining EQHash, you would be making $2.58. So this is a huge difference between mining Raven coin and mining just with a nice hash. So if we go to AMD cards, for example, like three pieces of uh, RX 480s, you can also see that Raven coin is the most profitable coin, but the difference is not so huge as on Nvidia side because AMD cards are so much better for mining Ethereum than Nvidia cards. So let's check out if my GPUs are actually mining Raven coin right now. So I'm mining on Zerg pool using Oso Miner, and if you scroll down, you can see that all four of my rigs that are currently online are mining Ravencoin. And some of them are mining using Raven Miner, and some of them are mining using Ravencoin Miner. So we actually have three different miners for Ravencoin mining, and I'm just testing a few different ones to see which one gives the best results. And I have to do this for like a week, so I have enough time to see the results, so it's not just like luck. So, all of my rigs are currently mining Ravencoin, and you can see that they have been mining for hours on Ravencoin, and then they switched to a little bit of X17, which is used for Verge mostly, and now they are mining Ravencoin again. And it is giving a lot better results than just having them like switch from X17 to maybe like Phi to Bitcore. It looks like I'll get the best results just by mining Ravencoin, but we will see in tomorrow's videos. So, Let's learn a little bit about Ravencoin and why Ravencoin is so good for mining and so crazy profitable right now. So if you go to Ravencoin website, you can see that it says that it is ASIC free. It uses X16R algorithm, which is used only for Ravencoin and ProtonCoin, but Ravencoin was first. And I'm going to teach you more about this algorithm like a li little bit later on. So there was no pre-mine. When the coin launched, everyone could start mining at the same time, and the developers didn't have like not even one percent of the pre-mine blocks. Fair launch. This is what I said right now. No rush to link up with an exchange. This sounds good for some people that want to hold their coins, but if you just want to sell your coins quickly, that maybe you mined in early days, then there is almost no way for you to sell them on bigger exchanges. There are only two smaller exchanges that accept Ravencoin, and you have to register on one of them. Individuals ask about price and the two price checks, developer agnostic. So, this is the problem that, that almost every coin faces, that people only care and think about coin price. And coin price is thing that we should care the least amount, because you have to care about the technology behind it and what the developers are doing and how is code advancing. And not just the price, because price can go 100% up in one day and then drop in another day. But the code develops over time and it just gets better and better. So now let's explain the most interesting thing about Ravencoin, which is its own algorithm. And this is why Ravencoin is so profitable right now and why it will be insanely hard to make an ASIC miner for Ravencoin. So let's go to the white paper which explains the Ravencoin mining algorithm. So this Ravencoin X16 Air mining algorithm was inspired by X11 algorithm which is used for Dash. And Dash is one of the most popular coins that uses X11 algorithm and this algorithm actually uses 11 different algorithms that are connected like in a chain one after another. So for a little bit you are hashing one algorithm then you are doing another one and you do, it, do them in a circle. So you can know that first you are going to do this then this and this and this is why they could make A6 for X11 X11 pretty easy because you could just calculate things in advance. So then people made X13 algorithm which used all of the X11 algorithms but added two more. Then there was X15 and then there was X17. And X17 is used for mining virtual right now but you can make ASIC miner for 
each of those coins and algorithms. So that's why Raven Queen decided to make a new algorithm called x 16 air air like in Raven. And this is ASIC proof and it can only be mined with CPU or with a GPU. So what's special about this algorithm? Over here you have a list of algorithms that this algorithm has inside of it. So it has 16 algorithms but it is it is different than something like X11 or X17 because you don't know the order in which those algorithms will come. So first you might have to solve a little bit of Groeste, then you a little bit of Ketsak, then Skane, then maybe like Simt, and they change like and they change all the time depending on the hash of your last block. So you can see over here your previous block hash and your next algorithm is then dependent on those last letters and numbers of your block hash. So over here you can see like those eight final bytes that they have taken over here and then this determines the next algorithm. And this is why you can't make an AC for it. Well, you actually can, but it won't be so much faster than maybe something like ASIC for X11 or for Kryptonite or something like that. It will be faster than GPU, of course, but it won't be so much more profitable that you can with one ASIC miner have enough mining power as somebody with 200 GPUs. So in short, it just changes those algorithms all the time, their order, and you cannot pre-calculate data for, that you will need in order to solve the block. So you have to go one by one, and the problem with that is that some algorithms have different difficulties compared to another ones. So over here you can see that the Blake algorithm is the easiest, and it takes the lowest amount of time to calculate, and then something like Hemsey takes the longest time to calculate. So this is also one thing that makes it a lot more difficult for A6 to exist for x 16 air. And now we got A6 for Equihash, so Equihash mining will die pretty soon and we will lose one more algorithm. And especially if coins like Zcash don't change from Equihash to some other algorithms, more people will have to switch to other coins. And I really hope that more coins adopt X16 Air and maybe even some coins from the Equihash algorithm switch to X16 Air. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know if you understand it a little bit better now and if you have some questions about Ravencoin. Leave them down in the comment section and see you soon in another one. Bye.